What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. Let's take some time to talk about a position that I haven't mentioned in a while. And they're looking to do something really big with not only Lunatic's uh, token, their own token themselves, but also something big in the Terra Luna Classic or Classic Chain. Um, now, this will be a while from now before you see that larger impact that is there, but any impact is always a great thing. If we can see our, uh, you know, us baby step our way into success for Terra Luna Classic, um, as well as seeing success in the positions that are getting Terra Luna Classic to that success, if that makes sense, it will be a great thing for all of us, right? If we could all make money off of this one play, as well as see something grow and be a part of that big thing that does grow. Now, who knows how popular all of these projects are going to be that are out there, whether it's Ethereum, it's Bitcoin, it's Terra Luna Classic, it's Shiba Inu, it's Polygon, it's um, Solana, whatever project is out there. Who really knows how popular those projects are going to be? We know that they're worth billions, but they could be worth hundreds of billions. Other projects that are worth millions could be worth hundreds of millions or billions. And we can see projects that come out of nowhere and do so much, uh, so many good things, so many big things that are out there. Um, but one thing we could also see with a project that we're hoping that we can all do is slowly but surely grow with the project. See the project go from $1 million market cap to two, to five, to 10, to 20, right? Start to retrace a little bit, but see it go up to 50 and 100 and 200 and grow to this level as we're seeing more and more people that are seeing the benefits of what this can be. Now, Lunatics Token has done so much, right? So much in such a short period of time. And I feel like they're going to be worth a lot more with the people that are behind them, the things that they're developing. And I think if they just take one more step, they can get to a whole nother level. So I'm gonna explain uh, everything about this in this video. Guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, at Perry8K, you can follow me over there. And don't forget about some of the links that are in the description, um, you know, for uh, crypto.com, for Webull, for uh, Coinbase and all of that. I do have my Patreon, guys. I want to put more emphasis on my Patreon because I'm going to put a lot of effort into Patreon and Discord and be able to respond and have audio chats and, you know, video chats and one-on-ones and all these different things that I want to have a part of Patreon and a part of Discord. So feel free to go and check that out. It's, it is $5 to be a part of the Discord group and we wanna build this from scratch. We did have 200 members in there, but it was all people like, whether they were a part of the Discord group or were not. Um, and then some people brought some other people in there. So it's kind of a lockdown um, to where we now have the moderators, we have um, you know the admin as well. And we're looking to build up the Discord group to something a lot bigger and a bigger conversation that you can have directly with me. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into Lunatics Token. If you don't know what Lunatics Token is and you are brand new to uh, what I'm talking about here. So Lunatics Token was a, a token that was created to benefit Terra Luna Classic in such a big way. They were looking to create burns for Terra Luna Classic, which they've already burned off 2.1 billion coins. Um, they were looking to create rewards, which is the bigger portion of it, right? You have like 4% in rewards that you could have gained over a certain period of time. It was like 6% at some point. And, you know, you're seeing rewards that people are getting in Terra Luna Classic as you are holding Lunatics token, which is a big deal because now you're really supporting that project, not only in the form of burns, but also in the form of rewards. So everybody that makes a purchase, you get a sort of kickback as to, you know, you get a sort of kickback for them making any type of purchase or movement with the position which is a big thing right because not only am am i you know making that transaction to hold the position now as i go along i'm gaining something extra as i'm holding it and it's not even staking it it's not even about staking it. it's about the taxes that other people see as they're buying it and selling it and moving it all around you're receiving standard rewards as you are holding it which is definitely a big deal for anything now, um, that's what it was created for, is really to help out Terra Luna Classic, as well as create a name for itself. And they've been able to do that, right? Create a bunch of different things. When we first, or when we first saw this um, launch, um, you didn't see any of this up here, NFT staking or staking. You didn't see, you know, Luna Space or Luna Swap or, or the Lotto or Shop or anything that's there. They didn't have merch or anything like that. But they're looking to build more and more onto the project on uh, more of a decentralized uh, platform, a decentralized aspect to it. <clears throat> 
so that you can have an effect with the, the taxes and everybody that is purchasing it also contributes to others that are holding it. Now, we know that exchanges <clears throat> will find a way to get around the taxes, whether it's a, you know, they, you look at a 1% tax now or 0% or tax in some exchanges, um, but the volume is what's going to matter right now. And the volume that we're seeing in certain places, yes, they are in communication with some exchanges and stuff, um, <clears throat> but right now they are on the B BSC side. Now they're also looking to launch on the Ethereum side um, and they're doing this, this launch that's coming up soon. They're gonna have a, um, a talk today at some point. I think it's like, like 6 p.m. Um, you'll probably see this video after that because it's at 2 p.m. Eastern but it's 6 p.m. UTC time. So you'll probably see this video afterwards and um, see all the different detail. If you guys wanna go into the Telegram and probably uh, listen to it again, I think you could probably do that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, maybe they'll record it and put it on um, you know, Twitter or something. But anyways, that's what Lunatics Token is about. So they're gonna have a BSC side and Ethereum side to where you can have these rewards, you can have these um, the burning that's going on and multiple transactions that's going through. Now they've created a lot. So where do they stand in price point when we look at the BSC side? So currently they're at a $1 million market cap. Um, we've saw this all the way up to a high of a $21 million market cap. It was up to a high price. I believe it was 21 or 24. If we look at the last year, yeah, $21 million market cap is what the highest point was. You did see um, you know, the overall circulating supply that was there. And now you're seeing about 50% uh, percent of that supply that is out there. A lot of it is staked. You're looking at over like 20% of the overall position is staked for over a year. Um, and then you're also looking at about 12 billion that has uh, been burned. Now, this is big because you already burned off 12%. And you can consistently burn while they do have a burn tax within it to burn 1%, um, and if not more than that. So overall, this can be a massive project for a lot of people. Now, is it there yet? I feel like it's still at the starting stages, even though it's been you know closing in on about a year, right? Even though it's been closing in on that, um, you know, there it's still in the starting stages to where you're not seeing as many exchanges on it. Like right now, if you go in here, you really only can purchase it on uh, PancakeSwap or L Bank. Um, I believe you can get it on CoinIn, but I'm not 100% sure. But you have two places that you can buy it. And um, we wanna see more exchanges that you can buy it on. And I think that's the level that they can improve on. When you see all of the things they have done with the NFT staking, with the NFTs in general, NFT staking, you're seeing staking um, version one and version two there. Um, you're seeing um, uh, the implementation of those NFTs in a metaverse, right? Seeing all these different things that are being built um, on the decentralized side of, uh, you know, Luna T, right? Um, and you're seeing so much out of that. You know that that next step is really to create a ton of volume. Um, and the volume, yes, we want to see on the DEX side but we know that CEXs kind of are the way right now. Eventually they will catch up and they understand um, what the chain would want, what the uh, overall position would want. But I know for a fact that once they get that to that level of launching on things like KuCoin and um, you know Coinbase and uh, Crypto.com and all these other platforms where the money is flowing through, you know, Lunatics token will blow up um, and definitely see a way higher market cap. So this is why I'm still standing here at a uh, $1 million market cap. I could believe it, it will be worth a lot more than $1 million. Um, and especially how much it is helping out Terra Luna Classic in, in the long run. I mean, you're already looking, you're looking at 2 billion and I would imagine with more and more volume, more and more traction into it, you can see a lot more of an effect there. So anyways, guys, um, let me know what you think about Lunatics Token. I know there's some people that you know may be skeptical about investing into a position that benefits another position, but um, it does. Um, they have shown that they've done this in the past, that they're uh, very transparent, they're reliable, um, they're here for the community. So anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.